Behind me, I've got footage of the Vortex Razor UHD 10x32, 10x42, and 10x50 binoculars. They're compared using all manual settings on an iPhone 15 and uncompressed footage. What we're going to do in this video is try and look at the difference in light transmission and see what you're actually getting when you increase in price and weight to get that larger objective lens. We have the Vortex Razor UHD 10x32 on the left, 10x42 in the middle, and 10x50 on the right. And in this example, the first thing we'll notice is that the 32s have a significantly larger actual field of view. The 42s are a little smaller and the 50s are just a little smaller yet. The relationship between objective lens size and field of view is pretty complex, but all you need to know is that a 50 millimeter objective will not give you a larger field of view than a 32 millimeter objective. The objective diameter has far more to do with light transmission than field of view. So in this video, light transmission is about all we're gonna look at. We'll take a quick look at the lens chart and mention that all three binos utilize the same quality of glass and have near identical clarity, contrast, and color. Most any differences you'll see between the three are likely a result of testing inconsistencies on my end. There does seem to be a slight magnification difference in this example, but it is pretty minimal. So let's move on to some real world examples. You'll notice that even in full daylight, there's a noticeable difference between the 32s and 42s. The 42s and 50s, however, seem to look quite similar. The most noticeable difference in actual use is that the larger field of view and lighter weight made the 32s easier to handhold. I don't want to waste too much of your time here, so let's jump into some low light comparisons. This is just before sunset, and in my opinion, all three options are still performing quite similar. We'll jump to the next example, and you'll start to see something a little strange. At first glance, it might look like the 42s actually have a brighter image, but I found that when I remove the 32s, you're able to compare the 42s and 50s a little better. A bit of an optical illusion, I think. Looking through the 3x lens to get a better view of the center of the glass, you'll see that although the 32s bring in less light, the image quality and sharpness stands up very well. There's a slight difference in overall brightness, but even 10 minutes after sunset, it's not a huge difference. This will be our last example, and I'd say you can finally see a significant difference between the three. And we're exactly 30 minutes after sunset here, on a west-facing hillside. I'd say all three are doing pretty well considering the available light, but the 32s have a clear disadvantage. The difference between the 42s and 50s is enough to be able to point out, but honestly, I think both options will perform pretty dang similar. Yes, the 50s are brighter, but I really expected the difference to be greater than what I can see here. One last thing I'll point out is that the 50s have had slightly better contrast and clarity through almost all of these examples, and that does show in this ultra low light. There's no arguing that the 50s do give you a brighter and more readable image. In my opinion, the weight and cost increase going from the 42s to the 50s is probably not going to be worth it. And in actual use, I'll tend to gravitate towards the 32s more often than I would have expected. The size and weight of a smaller bino is actually much nicer than I thought it'd be and I'm used to carrying 12 by 50s Obviously, choosing the right optic will be different for every hunt, but hopefully this video shows you guys what you are or aren't getting when you opt for the larger objective size. If you've got questions, leave them in the comments, and I encourage you guys to share what setup works for you in different conditions. We've got other videos comparing glass quality as well as different power binoculars. Click on the end screen if you wanna check those out. If you're in the market for some new glass or a new digiscope setup, buy it at Gearful and help support us as we try to bring you more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.